back again here. Um, I have added more spackle to spots that need it to the gaps where the uh, where, when gluing uh, the pieces together, they needed, needed uh, some assistance there to, to uh, correct some seam lines. So anyway, um, I pulled out the stand to put it on. It was going to be a lot easier anyway. Um, right here. Right here, and uh, as uh, I think I marked before, or I said before, I marked the areas with blue tape where I needed to do it, and then here and here, and places all around in there. So it's drying. Once it's dry, that'll get uh, filed, sand, whatever, um, and then if any more needs to be added and, and corrected, then I'll be done. I'm still allowing uh, that to dry because it is a lot laying there. Um, is that things are actually moving pretty quickly now. That, uh, um, and I'm at the stage where I'm just doing this. Um, once that's all done, once uh, everything's sanded and filed and looks nice, um, and then I'll put that on, glue that, and if there's no extra um, uh, spackle needs to be out of there to make it just look even a little bit better. Then I'll go ahead and I'll put a primer coat on it, um, or a primer color. Not I'm not really put real primer on it, um, but anyway, I use I use acrylic paints. But I am going to use I'm going to after that after the primer color is on there. Um, if there's any imperfections visible that need more spackle to seal up some stuff, um, then I'll do that and then sand it, fix it, and then go over it again um, in that, that area again. And um, and then I'll get to the paint color. Um, also, the stand, I'm going to use this uh, display stand even for when I do the uh, photograph and filming type shoots to do uh, um, basic special effects for, for little videos. And um, what I'm going to do, um, since the ship is going to end up being a green, it's already a green color now, but the, it'll be green color paints, I'll use a blue screen. And some of the extra fabric I'm going to use to make a glove to go over the stand so the stand is blued out. Um, that will allow me to do quite a lot of shots. And this way, um, the ship is held off the bottom part of the blue screen uh, just enough so there would be a limited shadow if you light it correctly and then once you have a the screen behind it in whichever direction um, if it's lit correctly it should it should look really good and should really help so um, excited to get this one done and and to start uh, practicing some new um, photographs and and uh, attempt a special effects videography or cinematography. Um, real low budget cinematography, nothing like in Hollywood. But um, I've always enjoyed uh, the model work that was done, uh, particularly in the 70s and 80s. And I think um, it, the films were quite good at that time with special effects and Star Trek the motion picture was definitely one of those movies that showed how good you can what how good it can be even with just models you know and of course now almost everything is uh, CGI models but uh, which is still quite a lot of work and it takes a lot of artistic <laughs> abilities and, and, and know-how to do that but um, this is uh, fun and different and um, it's sort of a throwback to you know 2030 40 years ago, the, the technology that existed as far as uh, um, uh, special effects. Now, obviously, this is not a 45 foot model. I think that's what the 45 foot, 45 inch model, which is what the original one was, I think, at least from the pictures I, I found online of it. It was measured out as 45 inches. Um, so you, you'll never get the super close detail shots like you were able to get back then. Um, however, if I was to have a really super, super duper digital camcorder, 
with a whole lot of megapixels, it is possible that I might be able to do a really serious close-up shot and make it pretty, pretty solid. Now the only thing is because it is a mold, and I didn't glow on, I mean glow on, glue on any extra like wires and things, uh, or to look like uh, risen detail that's separated from the base of the ship. It'll always look like a mold for the most part. So. Um, I will be a bit limited on what kind of close-up work I could do. Now some probably say, well, why don't you just build a, a four-foot model or something? Well, uh, someday. <laughs> I don't really have the room for it right now, but uh, someday I'll, do, I'll have a nice big ship. Um, the, sh the film will probably be um, either a really nice big Millennium Falcon or a big uh, Enterprise uh, movie refit version. Uh, not the E, but obviously the uh, the 1701 refit, or the A, whichever one you want to call it, you know, have one of those two. Um, but anyway, um, it's coming along pretty nicely. It's going to come out pretty da pretty darn good. Um, I'm getting close to the, the real exciting stage where you really bring it to life, which is where you start painting it. So um, that's, that's the fun part. Anybody that builds models know that's it's the hard part but it's also the real fun part because that's when you really start to bring it to life. So. Alright, catch you next time.